Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to talk about Tusk, which is both written and directed by Kevin Smith. And I love you, Kevin Smith, so, so very much. We just recently watched the Jay and Silent Bob reboot remake, and it was amazing. Good times, good times. So this film does star uh, Justin Long as Wallace, who, with Teddy, who's played by, I think his name's Haley Joel Osment, the little kid from The Sixth Sense that we, like, literally haven't seen in forever. And they are both hosts of a podcast called The Not See Party. Not The Nazi Party. That's not cool. But they pretty much just it's a lot of comedy sketches. It's a lot of them kind of poking fun at uh, trending internet videos. Reminiscent of the Star Wars kid, they find this kid, the Kill Bill kid, who someone at a yard sale bought a laptop and found a file on it, which is this kid playing with a samurai sword. If you've seen Kill Bill, I mean, hello. And uh, accidentally cuts his own leg off and agrees to do an interview with Wallace Kill Bill Kid does live in Canada, and Teddy is really hesitant. He doesn't fly, and he doesn't want Wallace to bring his girlfriend, Allie, because he said things get weird. So Wallace flies off to Canada and to unfortunately finds out that Kill Bill Kid um, did uh, check out. So he reacts to it really insensitively, like, how dare he? It kind of just keeps building upon the fact that Wallace is not a nice guy. He cheats on Allie constantly, um, just a sleazebag. It seems like in the beginning of their relationship, he was doing a lot of stand-up comedy. He was a sweet, sensitive guy. And now that he's making so much money from his podcast, he's just like leveling up in douchebaggery, unfortunately. So he's really sad. Uh, can't can't obviously have this interview anymore with Kill Bill Kid. While he's in the bathroom of a Canadian bar, he sees this posting on the wall saying, my name is Howard. I have a very storied past and he will offer a room for free as long as you do household chores because he's no longer able to. He's an older gentleman. And um, some other weird things. The movie's called Tusk. <laughs> if that doesn't kind of allude to what weird things he's talking about, we find out after he drugs Wallace that he wants to turn him into a walrus. Howard, in his youth, was on um, different uh, craft in the ocean, and he was in the military and uh, Navy, obviously. He was on a boat. But he... Something happened, they hit an iceberg, and he ended up spending, I think, like six months with walrus, walrus eye. I don't know the plural of walrus, walrus susses. And one in particular, he became really enamored with. It was his BFF, Mr. Tusk. He wants to turn Wal Wallace into Mr. Tusk. So I'm going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. But I mean, like, what, what can you really spoil? I actually listened to this modcast where Kevin Smith was pitching this idea and kind of building it up and up. And I did hashtag walrus yes because I wanted to see this movie. And I'm so glad that I did because it, 10,000 chef kisses. I love this movie. This is not a movie that a lot of people like. This is not a movie that a lot of people will watch all the way through. This is not a movie that a lot of people will watch all the way through like 20 times. Ding. That was me. You're welcome, Kevin Smith. I also um, enjoy that there's uh, some weird cameos in this from Johnny Depp and, of course, Kevin Smith's daughter, Johnny Depp's daughter, because they're friends. And there is a cameo. Oh, my gosh. I forget his first name, but he's from Epic Meal Time, and I love him. So, yay, Canada. I'm just going to go into my likes. I like how disgusting this movie is. This is a whole different level of body horror if you're into that. This is all practical effects. This is just intense. But it's also like, it's not just a straight horror. It's a lot of comedy in it. There's a lot of weird jokes that you kind of need to lighten the mood because 
just the subject matter is so gross and so dark. And I've, I've said it in reviews in the past. I can't remember. I think it was, uh, was it Afterlife when Justin Long was in that, that he just has like a main line to my heart. If he's crying, I feel that so hard. Like him in, um, of course I can't remember the movie now, the one with him and the gypsy that was gumming that lady's face. When he was crying, I was just like, oh, oh my soul. He's hilarious. I love him. He plays both funny and both like tragic extremely well. And I think that Justin Long is underrated. He needs to get some more notoriety. I felt that, uh, I mean, it's, it's horrific what Howard is doing to him. Howard is the man. And it just his complete lack of sanity is, is possibly the more scary thing, you know, versus what he's doing to people. And we find out that this is not the first person he's done, you know, a human to walrus transformation is ooh, nasty. So it's special effects. Incredible. I thought that, uh, it's shot really well. The parts that are in the dark are shot really well. I'm always going to mention that in my reviews for anyone else that has um, any visual impairment that you can still enjoy it. You will still be able to know what's going on. I don't know how many other visually impaired horror fans there are, but yay us. I'll keep you guys in the loop. Let you know which movies you can possibly see. And uh, I thought the acting was pretty good. I'll go into my dislikes. I thought that the subplot between Allie and Teddy, I didn't really need that. And she just seems to be crying all the time, which I understand with the position she's in with her relationship with Wallace, also with her relationship with Teddy, has got to be hard and it's got to be draining. And I hate people that are like, well, just get out of it. Sometimes it's just not that easy. Sometimes it's just not that black and white, but it just, the the movie is already kind of such a downer. Like, it's sad. I enjoy it, but it is sad. I didn't need all of that extra emotion just pushing me into despair. But I suppose that was kind of the point, and then that's why there was so much comedy in it. I liked uh, Guy Lapon's, um parts in the movie. I felt like sometimes getting to the point of the story was a bit taxing and I kind of just wanted him to get there right away and maybe shorten things. But also that's Kevin Smith's writing style. He likes to use a lot of descriptors. His dialogue is very Kevin Smith. It's kind of when you watch his movies, you know, like, oh yeah, that's him. I know how he, how he flows. But there's not like really a lot I disliked about this movie. Like I said, it's not the happy ending you want, but it is the ending that I feel like is fair to the movie. I would rate this probably four out of five. Love this movie. I will forever rewatch this movie. Right now, I found it on Netflix. I'm sure it's available other streaming services as well as physical copy, digital download, all that cool stuff. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on this movie? Please be nice because I really like it. Actually, you know, have your opinion. I don't mind. You say it sucks? That That's you, man. Do you. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone is having a really nice day and uh, keeping your heads up, keeping happy. I'm going to need to watch something happy now because I'm kind of like, mm, after finishing this, but had a good time. Um, leave me some comments. As I said, like the video if you did like the video or you could like the video if you like walrus like the video if you know the plural for walrus because i st i should have looked that up before i started the video but anyways maybe i'll watch some epic meal time because that will make me happy um hit the subscribe button if you have not yet i'd love to have you uh, hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo as well as reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. 
and I'll see you guys later. Walrus, yes. Oh, 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 oh,